A fall surge of coronavirus hitting the Midwest especially hard. Illinois today reporting more than 6,100 new cases. Wisconsin had 3,800 new infections, and Indiana officials announced just under 2,600 today. Dr. Anthony Fauci spoke with a local group about that new wave. Anthony Ponce joins us live with more on the discussion. Anthony. Yeah, Corey and Dawn, Dr. Fauci joined the local group Chicago Ideas for a fairly lengthy Q&A, a virtual Q&A tonight. And uh, his responses with regard to COVID were both concerning and some of them were very reassuring as well. We're in a very bad position when you think about where we're going because the trajectory is going up. And then compound that with the holiday season coming, we have to do something different because we are clearly going in the wrong direction. Dr. Fauci says that 40 states are showing upticks right now, saying the country never really even got down to a manageable baseline amount of COVID cases. So there's so much community spread at this point that even maneuvers like contact tracing don't work well. He also says all the precautions people are supposed to be taking aren't being uniformly done, which is contributing to this uptick. Now, on the flip side, though, he offered some optimism about the vaccine that he is predicting will be successfully developed by December, predicting that at least one, possibly two of the six serious vaccine contenders in the running right now will be effective and safe for use. By the time we get to the end of November, the beginning or middle of December, we should know whether we have a safe and effective vaccine. And at that point, you can think about the distribution of doses towards the end of December, the beginning of January. Now asked about COVID fatigue, Dr. Fauci said that is totally understandable. He urged the American public and Chicagoans who were tuning in virtually tonight to uh, stay strong, hang in there and be optimistic about the development of this vaccine. We are live on the north side tonight. Anthony Ponce, Fox 32 News. Anthony, thank you. Topping news across America.